We have begun work on securing that glitter hoof may not be forgotten. Let's see what you can do. What's the best? Malonghos was enriched by her visit. No, she's at the end she's going to the only person in this world who still has somewhat of a decent opinion of me. Oh man. Right, okay. Our concubine's child will be ours. She hates me. She hates me. Everyone hates me. Ah, lovely. My kinswoman hates me as well. Well, tough luck, kinswoman. Be thrifty. Ah, we're not going to help. He's doing fine. Doesn't need my help. The uh, uprising has mainly light infantry. Someone has usurped something, but not within our realm, so... Oh, looky here! You don't want to... Wait, it's her! Sh what? Her title was taken from this guy? From this guy? This means holy war. Holy word for this. I swear. I swear. We shall fight them. I will avenge you, my lady. Avenged you shall be. And everyone is going to be called in because they have no choice. No matter how much they hate me. The Norsemen shall be driven from this island this i swear this i swear no one is going to join me why not why does nobody like me anymore okay we're going to lose money hard now and everyone is going to come everyone is coming everyone is coming no one's not coming because they know what happens to those that do not come to me Let's obligate the vassal to stay out of factions. What just happened was um, one of our, our spy master, well, not one of our master, but we only have one spy master. Our spy master uncovered some dirt on one of our vassals being dirty. So he gave an option. Either, my friend, you go and never join a faction against me. Oh look, a daughter has been born to us. Well, that's not the worst thing. Let's have a matrilineally married to someone good. Oh, he's quick. Let's take him. Good enough. And she, my own daughter, she shall be called... Why did she go? There she... There she went. She's dead now. I will not forget you. The world might. But I shan't. I shall not... Forget your sacrifices. Your loyal service. Well, you didn't really serve me because it, I kind of destroyed you, but I shan't forget any of it. This is where... Right, allies in war. Everyone, go siege. Go siege to your heart's content. I'll take care of all the rest. Including standing down these troops, which we're not going to need. Entirely sure what my allies are doing. 
uh, sieging with me. Which is something, I suppose. Let's go kill some Vikings. I don't know where they're going, honestly. They just kind of went away. I'm like, eh. Sieging is such dreary business. Who needs to siege? So now we have another issue that we need to take care of. Because if we get the title... Which, yes, we did indeed. Alright, okay. Ooh. Okay, okay. Oh, thank god. We didn't get a second duchy title, because that would have been terrible for us. Um, so now we just need to kind of divide these lands. Because we hold too much. Which we may not. Well, we can, but uh, it's not good for us. So, let's check all this. We're going to keep Kildara and give everything else away. And it shall stay within the family. So let's give our granddaughters. Well, we can't. Do they have male children? Well, my kinsmen. There's just some bastard. Well, let's give it to our kinsman here. Let's have him have Brefine. There we go. What? This might go from the realm. Oh, because of course he doesn't have any heirs yet. Uh, so... Let's betroth them to something. To her. Bastard of my dynasty. Um, cool. Let's find people who sort of, kind of, don't hate us all that much <laughs> um, in our court. My son-in-law, he doesn't hate us. Well, let's give him meat. And actually... Also, let's give him Westmeath. Now, we might consider moving our capital here, because this is the largest land in Ireland, where Dublin is. We would need to build this up, because clearly it wasn't taken care of well. But I don't think it's worth it. So we're not gonna. We are not gonna. We're going to stay right here. And rule Ireland from here. So everything has been divided as is required. And we have lost some good people in this, apparently. Let's get some people. Be friendly to us. Sort of. Would anyone like to join the council? Other than Glitterhoof. This guy would like to. But he's a really good marshal, so let's put him in the marshal seat. And let's our son be a bishop. Let's have some successes out here. Let's keep it in the family. As much as we can. Alright. I have the wrong type of holding somewhere. Meaning... I have this... This church is also mine here. But I can't hold the church. Because I'm a tribal leader. So I can create a new vassal. To take care of this. We are now a threat as well. So we are absolutely 100% ruining 
ruining our legacy. <laughs> no question about that. We're mainly earning from tribute because all our vassals are basically stopping payment toward us. <laughs> but the line is secure. He got to do what you got to do. Nothing to be changed about it. Could probably give our grandson some land. Honestly, give him Dublin, why not? I can't. That's why. Because he's not in our court. Let's have him back home. Come on, man. Be home. Be great. I wouldn't have needed to give him that. It's probably also not a great idea. But who cares at this point? Really. I don't. You guys go make children. Of my dynasty. If you don't mind. God, people are going to... Remember him very fondly. Very fondly indeed. So family focus sometimes starts event chains where people will come together and improve their relationships. There's a chance, there's a chance that people might still come around to me again. Warm up. To what I am and who I am. Alright, so... The construction of the building, numerous accidents, local build time modifier plus 30% for another year, so our wondrous statue will take a while. Ooh, someone, someone sabotaged this. My son has sabotaged this. That is unacceptable, but I can't do anything about it. <laughs> Uh, we don't care. A bastard of our realm somewhere down the line. See? That's something I love about this game. This story has been created for us. This was not our idea. This was not where we wanted to go. This is not where I wanted to go. I, this is not who he should have been. He was a great man, but he was put in a corner by his own terrible decisions. So now he is this. Terrible, terrible person. All to save his line and no one understands. Except for his love and glitter hoof. <laughs> right. Can't we have a new concubine? Nice. Yeah, we got a bunch of prestige out of this little encounter there. People are learning, and we have a new technology to invest into. All right, so it's in the economy advancement again, so we want to check here. For a shipbuilder, we need shipbuilding level one, but we don't really care for that. What we're going to go for once we hit feudal, what we will need is town, uh, actually improved keeps or rather castle infrastructure. As you can see, it gives some things for fuel. So we're going to go there because keeps isn't far away. We'll just build up on what we can have. Doing fairly well actually. Right, okay. So this is an event chain. Someone wants to recruit us for their son's uh, Lucifer's own. What are we going to do? So let's, let's talk, my friend. Yes, we question the salvation of God. Walking the palisades of my town, I am joined by Gradlon. I find myself agreeing with a lot of the concept he presents. The futility of prayer particularly resonates with me. Suddenly he turns to me and presses a small leather pouch into my hand. My lord, will you carry this with you for protection? Yes, of course I will. What if I told you that all you have been taught to believe in is a lie? Gradulon continues. 
throwing a cautious glance around us before pulling up his sleeve, revealing a scar in the shape of a pentagram. God lied to Adam in the Garden of Eden. Reject the tyrant deity and let the devil guide your steps. You truly are a witch then? Can you help me to win the battlefield? Or rather on the battlefield? We might, if you offer yourself up to Satan, you will be granted powers God has kept from us humans. Fingering the leather pouch in my pocket, I slowly nod. Oh, I think you'll enjoy it, he said with an acknowledging smile. If there's any chance it'll help me win on the battlefield, I will. Let's look for a smith one more time. And this time we want jewels. We could also hold a feast. No, we can't. It's not time for feasts. Hold a great tribal festival. Only when we're at peace. It has been some time since Gradulon was in contact with me, I have been mulling over his words. God told Adam he would die if he ate the forbidden fruit. God lied. The priests in the church lie. So we could lose Charitable if we weren't wanted to. Doesn't really matter, we, we wouldn't like it, so let's wait for further instructions. What's going on over here? War. I found some cryptic scrawlings written in blood on my bedroom door this morning. The guards say they haven't seen anyone enter during the night, and I dare not ask my court chaplain to decipher it. Yet I think I understand the pentagram, the mark of Lucifer. Of course, the bargain must be struck. And so it shall. During the last few days, I have overheard the same conversation again and again. Apparently, a most renowned goldsmith is traveling through Mumu, and my courtiers are prattling excitedly about his work. Perhaps I should invite this man and employ his services. Well, nothing displays authority like fine jewelry. Alright, so we're no longer all that rich as we were before, but it's fine. We're going to definitely go a little bit into debt, because we want a good set of crown jewels. All right, someone has heard of our dedication. She's not a beauty, although she's well-groomed. She's a fat, hair-lipped, groomed beauty. So we'll go out of the red soon. It's not all that terrible in this. Ooh. I've met an intriguing and hypnotically beautiful woman at court. Apparently this Gumze is a foreign diplomat. I engaged her in a conversation for the first time today and we spoke at length about troop compositions. I was shocked when she carefully pulled up her sleeve, revealing the mark of Lucifer. You are the messenger? The Aptera smiles. I'm pleased to find you not only a charming man, Adokan, but also one capable of intellectual discourse. The, the brethren value the pursuit of knowledge, you see, in addition to more uh, earthly pursuits. A smile turns into a predatory grin as she continues. We'll soon see exactly how committed you are. I... What do you need me to do? Gamze escorts me to my bedchamber. I hesitate upon entering, finding it flooded with light as candles form a circle around my bed. Several hooded figures surround the room, chanting in unison. Fear not. Uh, they, they, yeah, they chant in unison. Fear not, brother. Power and pleasure. These are the gifts of Iblis. Well, pff, I do like the sound of that. All right, so our goldsmith, of course, is doing something. Oh, that's 
Let's have him do something. When I wake up, the cloaked figures are gone and Gumsy is lying next to me, a smile tugging at the corner of her mouth. Welcome to Lucifer's own King Edocon, she says. I hold her close, wondering how I will look back on this moment. I wish you had found me sooner, Gamze. So we are now in um, a hidden society. Lucifer's own. My concubine is pregnant again, which is good. And... Let's trust her word on it. The Marshal has discovered someone of military talent. Well, okay, good. He's not too bad. So the great construction has been paused because uh, we can't afford the construction cost currently. Now we can again. So let's unpause this. A heavy box has been brought before me. Komnak has finished his work and the crown jewels are completed. I expect something properly befitting my title as King of Mumu and I am excited to see his handiwork. So we have a certain chance of what it might be at the end. Let's see what he has accomplished. We got an engraved sword. Let's check that out, shall we? So there we go. Oh, we have way more than we... We have gotten all these things, not just the engraved sword. But a crown of lilies and a noble scepter, and we're holding all of these. For some reason, we are capable of holding all of this. Well, we have a few too many hands, apparently. But our treasury is looking decent already, giving us quite a few very sensible bo boons. It doesn't want to be our vassal. Although he kind of likes us. So, we need a new marshal. Which is going to be this guy. Because he likes us. Our grandson. You're a good boy, man. You're a good boy. And there we go. There ends the reign of King Edekan. And thus begins the reign of Queen Gerok. And we have lost quite a few holdings. But not our main holding, Urmurhain. Well, he gave up the ghost at age 65. A natural death born with unparalleled genius. Ah, we shall miss him. We have a lot of women ruling in Ireland, as well as it should be, and so be it. We have a new heir, our daughter, who is of our bloodline, so all is well. Let's find her a fitting husband, because now is the time again to secure alliances. But more, more importantly, to have the bloodline secure once more. Let's see if there's someone good. Not really. That's someone her own age, sort of. Well, there's an Irish guy, one of our king, kin. Let's have him. That's good enough. Gives us a little alliance with our nephew. So, yeah. We're going to set up her reign. Next. See you then.